well, here we are. We're in, what, week 11 now? Yeah. 11th week of the college basketball season. We're getting really deep into it now. We're getting real deep into it. And let me tell you, things have gotten even weirder. We're talking, we have no more unbeatens. Stanford, in a game that was like at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, you know, they beat USC. That makes, that, that loss to Texas looks a little bit better now, huh? Does it, Stanford? Uh, and then Texas Tech stunned Baylor, so, you know, they, they they beat Baylor. But Texas Tech goes right back, you know, we'll go back to Texas Tech. We'll go back to the, the Big 12 here for a minute, you know, and then we'll talk about USC again uh, at the Pac-12. Uh, but then Texas Tech, you know, after playing four games in eight days, they were just exhausted. They lost to Kansas State. They really, they did really look completely competitive in that game. Again, Kansas State hadn't had a conference win at that point. Well, and they beat them on Saturday. They beat them. It wasn't convincing, but Kansas State, you know, finally, you know, got healthy and stuff like that. They finally got things together, and that that was that. So Texas Tech's good good run because they they whipped up on Oklahoma State also during this week. Like they beat them pretty bad. And then you know you know the rest of the Big Twelve just pure insanity as usual. Like the Jayhawks barely got past Iowa State. They barely beat them. And then, you know, the Cyclones on Saturday decided to just whip up on Texas. I mean, this really was just a beating. You know, Isaiah Brockington was out there scoring. I mean, this Texas team continued to turn the ball over, continued to not be a cohesive unit. You know, only like 13 assists, 20 turnovers in this game. Just absolutely disgusting. And then, you know, Baylor lost again. They lost their second straight game to Oklahoma State. So, you know, <laughs> Oklahoma State, you know, ain't, again, the Big 12 ain't no joke. The Big 12 is not a joke of the best conference in basketball for a good reason. And that's not even covering everything. Like, TCU had a huge, huge three with, like, 27 seconds to go in OT against Oklahoma. Beat Oklahoma. Insanity. Pure insanity in the Big 12 once again. You know, like... Like, sure, you know, you know, Ochai Abaji and Christian Braun, you know, had 35 against Iowa State, you know, everything. And I forgot what Kansas did on Saturday because it's Kansas. I don't care about Kansas. But, you know, P12 is just wild, 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 wild each and every week. And it continues. It will continue this week because I know there's going to be some insanity this week, you know, with the Big 12. Uh, let's go back to the Pac-12 real quick. You know, want to get you know talk about the Pac-12 because again, Stanford did beat USC, and then USC proceeded to lose to Oregon on Saturday, in which they were not completely competitive in that game either. But also, also speaking of Oregon, Jacob Young and the Ducks they they beat UCLA with no fans at. at at the pavilion, you know, no fans at the arena. And it was a crazy game in which you got you got Bill Walton talking about the Tinder Horn. You get you got a game in which there was just crazy things happening throughout the entire affair of the Pac twelve, you know you know, or Oregon's looking like somebody that can, you know, emerge as, you know, maybe that fourth team, you know, that could get into the tournament, in my opinion. You know, because again, Oregon didn't look too good the first couple months of the season. But now that we're in conference play, you can get those big time victories again. And this is a huge one against UCLA. Huge one. Um, let's go to the SEC real quick. Let's go into the SEC. Let's talk about a little bit of SEC play. Now, Auburn, you know, Jamari Smith and company, they've been on a tear. They are going to be the they're in my opinion they're going to be the number one team come Monday morning, and they were up by as much as twelve gets Alabama. Alabama might as well to drop out the top twenty five altogether, um, and I mean they they held on against Bama, and then you know Kentucky whipped up on Tennessee. Like my goodness, I don't I don't think I've seen such a lopsided score in such a such a long time for Kentucky. Like, they put up 107 against Tennessee. Like, Tennessee has one of the best defenses in the country, and Kentucky just proceeded to do whatever they wanted, you know. So, 
we got a big one this week with Auburn and Kentucky, but we'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, there's really nothing that I can say, you know, about the ACC right now, you know, aside from Coach K missing uh, the Duke win against Wake Forest. You know, A.J. Griffin also has come on for the Blue Devils, and Van Carroll also, you know, still still playing very nice. You know, they combined for over 40 against Wake Forest. Uh, the Big Ten, really not much for me to say, uh, aside from Michigan State, you know, with a last second shot. Joey Hauser against Minnesota. And then, you know, the Spartans proceed to get beaten by Northwestern. I, I know, crazy stuff. And we'll talk about Northwestern again here in a moment. Um, in the Big East, Villanova's dominating the Big East. Um, a lot of people want to kind of... Rank. I've seen some people try to justify, you know, saying Villanova needs to be ranked over Duke or something like that. But that that that's not, that's not how this works. I mean, Villanova has four losses. Duke has two. Miami is not a bad loss anymore. Uh, you know, not, Villanova doesn't have any bad losses either. You know, all their losses are to, like, top 20 teams, you know. But Villanova dominate the Big East right now. Seton Hall is going to drop out the top 25. They lost the... Unfortunately, they lost to DePaul, and then they lost to Marquette as well. I mean, they, the Seton Hall team, I don't, I, don't know what's, I don't know what's wrong with them. They've lost some pretty big games to the Big East when they don't need to be losing these games. Uh, so, this week, this week, I have a couple questions. I have a few questions. I think we're going to get some answers to some of these. Um, Oklahoma has a big week ahead of them. Can they beat both Kaler and Kansas? Can we get another wild, wild week in the Big 12? You know, if Texas Tech can do it, can Oklahoma do the same? You know, is there going to be some weird scheduling quirks again? You know, like IUPUI is visiting Ohio State this week. You know, uh, there, there's been some scheduling quirks. You know, Big 10, you know, you know, again, you know, postponements, Corona Chan, she's been everywhere. She does what she wants. She is an independent queen who don't need nobody. And this is why this game was scheduled because, you know, lack of players and stuff like that. So, you know, there, there, there's things like this game, you know, happening right in the middle of conference play, which I, I actually enjoy. I actually enjoy stuff like this. Where are the Bracket Busters games? We need those back really, really fast. Please, let me, let me get some of those Bracket Busters games. Bring those back. And can Bruce Pearl and Auburn bring down John Calipari and the Kentucky Wildcats? Are they truly the, the number one team in the country? Because a lot of people are going to say, you know, that a lot of people are going to flip back between them and another team who we'll talk about here in a moment here. Um, personally, I think Auburn is the number one team in the country right now. They have the best resume in the country, one of the best resumes in the country. They, they really have done a great job this year so far. And this is the big opportunity on Saturday for the Auburn Tigers. LSU has another huge week ahead. They got Alabama and Tennessee, two teams that will probably not be ranked, but they're still tough competition nonetheless. Well, uh, some people are saying the SEC is the toughest conference in college basketball. You know, Jay Bealus, you know, that, that was that was the that was the, that was that's really the reason why I'm kinda, you know, scratch my head at this, because, you know, there's teams like Georgia in the SEC. Come on now, stop it. Uh, Northwestern, they, can they steal another game like they did against Michigan State against Wisconsin? And that 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 that's going to be really interesting because again, you know, the Big Ten has got real real intriguing over the past few weeks. You know, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird. You know, to see how this goes. I, I forgot to talk about Ohio State Wisconsin. I feel like that. I feel like that was this week, but I forgot. Uh, but I won't talk about it because I mean, I've already talked about it once, you know. I talked about it last week, so you know it is what it is. And speaking of Gonzaga, you know we'll get to them here. Um, there's like a fifth, there's like a 12 or 13 day stretch from their last game played, you know, which was on I believe it was on the 13th or something like that, or the 15th. I believe that was on Saturday night. So they have like a 12 day stretch where they're not playing anybody. They're gonna have to find the game. I, I need this team to find the game. You know, Gonzaga's been putting up a hundred and something points in their first few West Coast Conference games so far, but you know this, this right here, you know, the schedule right now. I know a lot of people like to joke about Gonzaga's schedule. Right now, the schedule is not there for Gonzaga because 
they don't play all the teams that, you know, potentially are getting bids in the WCC just yet. They played BYU already one time, but they but those other games, you know, against those two games against San Francisco and St. Mary's and the other game against BYU, those aren't coming up until later in February. So right now, right now, you need something. Somebody's going to have to step up and say, hey, we want Gonzaga. So give Gonzaga somebody to play, you know, over the next few days while, while we wait. Biggest games of the week here, you know, um, really Saturday's really the only thing Saturday is Kentucky Auburn. I mean, you know, if if you're interested in that, you know, that is honestly the biggest game on on this week. Definitely a huge one. Wisconsin, Michigan State is also another big one. Iowa State, Texas Tech, round two. The first game, you know, not even, it wasn't even two weeks ago when we talked about this game, I don't think. That that's a big one. Two on Tuesday night. I originally had more games here, but you know, and then Monday MLK Day gonna be a huge day. Uh, there's also if you if you finally want to hear the vocal chords of Gus Johnson, I think he's gonna be at the Howard Notre Dame game, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, but Purdue Illinois is a huge one in the Big Ten. Big game there. Kofi Coburn, you know. He, he, he might be going off because, I mean, Illinois has been soaring lately. They've been soaring up, and the rest of the Big Ten has been looking pretty good lately. It's been looking pretty nice in the Big Ten lately. So that one's going to be real fun that afternoon to start. Like, it's like an early game. It's like 12. It's like noon Eastern on a Monday. It's going to be real fun to see how this game goes on MLK Day. And, yeah, so that that's pretty much it for this week. Um... Next week, going to be huge once again. Oh, excuse me. A little tired. It's going to be huge once again because next uh, couple Saturdays from now, oh boy, the Big 12 SEC Challenge. Oh boy. Oh, that's going to be juicy. Yes. We're going to talk all we're gonna talk all the Big 12 SEC Challenge for the next couple weeks. Oh, this is going to be juicy, juicy stuff right there. But for now... I'll leave you guys, you know, with, you know, personally, you know, again, like I've said, I think Auburn will be number one. If not, Gonzaga could just skate by as number one for the next month and a half, which I, I don't really want to see that, but, you know, whatever, man. But, yeah, this is going to be a huge week. I don't, I don't think we're going to have a consistent number one this year. I think a lot of number one teams are going to be knocked off. We're going to have some teams, you know, that you know, that were number one in the past, reemerge as number one seeds in the tournament. But overall, as far as this week goes, Auburn, Kentucky, definitely the biggest game of the week. Definitely get your antennas, get your cable, get your satellite, get whatever you need to do and go to CBS, whatever that game is supposed to be on, because it's either going to be 1 o'clock or one thirty Eastern, that game. So whatever that game is, get to it. It's going to be a huge one definitely a huge game focus on that game of course you know the big 12 is going to be wild as usual the big 10 i don't i don't haven't really been talking much about the big 10 this year it's not as clear cut as last year when i was just talking about the big 10 the big 12 all the time you know but you know sec's definitely stepped it up this year again you know acc there hasn't been much to talk about you know pac 12 hasn't been much to talk about except for when bill walton is on the air uh west coast conference you know doing their thing, you know. Um, and th there is some conference speculation, but I won't go into those right now. You know, some conference realignment stuff that, that's been speculated. And these are mostly regarding basketball schools. You know, we already talked about the Murray State thing last week. But, um, you know, there's some speculation with some basketball schools that I won't go into yet because we don't know everything yet here. So we'll, we'll figure that all out next week. I'm going to get my notes ready for next week and everything. And Again, I'll see you all soon, or rather tomorrow, to talk about Super Wild Card Weekend in the NFL. And then, you know, most of the week I'm going to be off. I'm not going to be doing too much here on the channel. So, you know, this is going to be crazy. Let's enjoy this week of college basketball, everybody. It's going to be a big one. Take care. Have a good night. I'll see you soon.